Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. <clears throat> Today I have a question about, about listing homebrew projects on your resume. This is kind of an interesting one. Some homebrew. List, listing your homebrewing beering, you know, making some beer. Everyone, you know, that, that can help you get a, a C plus plus job if you if you know to be if you're known to be a home brewer and you, you talk about the kind of beers. <laughs> Somehow I think that's not what the what the asker's talking about. But you know, that, that that could help you. But anyway, before I do tell you about that and ask answer this question, let me tell you about something else. Let me tell you about hire.com. And why am I gonna tell you about hire.com? Not because they're awesome, but they are awesome, but because they're also a sponsor of Simple Programmer, and I like sponsors and I like awesome companies. Companies. So hire.com, go check them out. Go to hire.com for a simple programmer. And basically what you'll do is you fill out an app and you can put in, you know, all of your lovely credentials and then they will match you up with with companies. Actually, companies will come and, and solicit you, right, if you're accepted and approved and hired is in your geographic area. I have to say that because some of you said, hey, what happened? Well, you know, it might not be that you're qual that you're not qualified it might be that they're just not there yet so they're in they're expanding out okay this is you know just understand it <laughs> but the beauty the beauty of going there if you go to hire.com forward slash simple program if you use that link is you'll get two thousand dollars instead of one thousand dollars which they normally give when you when you get a job with hired so uh, check it out test it out uh, let me know how, what you think about it but uh, but anyway I, I like hired and I appreciate them sponsoring simple programmer so go check them out anyway so let's let's get to this question here so Hi, John. Uh, hey, John. I really enjoyed reading Soft Skills. Oh, what is Soft Skills? It is my book. <laughs> you can check it out here. Uh, anyway, I need better product placement in these videos. So it's, there, it is. there it is. Uh, anyway, uh, I like this. I felt like the second part, the pragmatic programmer. It felt like the second part of the pragmatic programmer. That's cool. There's a book called The Pragmatic Programmer, which is a good book. You should check it out. Anyway, he says, the question is, well, there are two, actually. Oh, no, you only get one question. <laughs> actually, I, I cut this off, so there is only one question here. I cut off the second question. That's right. You only get one question. One. No soup for you. Uh, the question is, how do you show off best your homebrew projects is it the quality of the code that matters the documentation a nice and functioning demo is it important uh, to package it fully meaning you have install uninstall scripts and tutorials etc that's a good question okay so you should definitely list homebrew projects on your resume, of course, right? Because, you know, put them in GitHub so that you've got the source out there, right? This is one of the things that, like, if I can get into an interview, right, and I can f bring my laptop, I can flip it around, I can show you the code that I've written. That's what I want to, I want to gear the interview towards that because I want you to see that I am a developer who writes code and can write code. I don't want to answer these silly kind of theoretical questions. I want you to see that I am serious about writing code. That's what I try to do when I, when I used to interview is I'd be bringing my laptop and I would be trying to get them to look at this code, this demo project that I put together. Now, as far as what should you do here, like I'm going to, some of this is common sense. Does the quality of the code matter? Absolutely. freaking Absolutely, that you better make that that should be the best quality code that you possibly can produce right go through if you haven't read the book uh, you know I've actually let's, let's go to the video of the top 10 programming books I think uh, my, my top 10 programming books check out those code complete and and clean code are on there you need to write good code like that right prefer to write clean code rather than a lot of comments so make that code pristine, crystal clear, right? Get some unit tests in there. All of the good stuff, right? Documentation, I don't know. I'm not too big of a fan of documentation. I wouldn't worry about that. Don't put all these ridiculous lines of comments that just look like a bunch of fluff of documentation. Make the code read, read well itself, right? Again, like I said, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out that video on the 10 top programming books and clean code and code completer on there. Get those books, read those books, love those books, <laughs> sleep with those books next to you in bed, okay? Now, as far as having a nice and functioning demo, yes, that matters as well, right? So it has to look good as well. If you don't know, here's, here's a tip for you guys, okay? Because I, I'm not good at design, and I know that some of you aren't good at design. I did a video talking about do I have to be good at design, but I, I've got a tip for you, okay? If you're creating a demo like this, or creating an application, and you want to showcase some stuff, and you're not good at design, 
go on to a site like, you might be able to do it on Fiverr, but go to Upwork.com, okay? I, I have no affiliate with Upwork, I just use them a lot, okay? And go hire a designer, someone who's good to skin and design your the, the UI for your application. It's not gonna be expensive. You can find some really good designers in third world countries for really cheap. You just gotta do the work of vetting them out. Okay, or even go to 99designs if you, if you had to, right? But go and do that, pay someone or, or find someone that you know and make it look good because, you know, we, we're superficial people, all of us. <laughs> and we look at how good, good things look. So make it look as good as possible. So in short, right, I don't want to belabor this. I don't think you need to put installers and uninstallers and all of that. I mean, if you if you want to, you can. The more, that, but, you know, you, you don't want to polish it too much. You want to go plate everything right so uh, you know optimize make the code look good make the ui look good those that's where you want to optimize for and and get that out there rather than you know polishing the, the chrome on everything right you, you see what i'm saying okay so do that get out there and that that's going to be your your best bet anyway thanks for the for the question if you've got a question for me you can always email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com and if you like this video there's something that you can do which is to click that subscribe button below and uh, if you're already a subscriber appreciate you your thumbs up is always always lovely and uh, shares are are lovely as well so i'll talk to you next time take care